Hello, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I want to share with you something that I think is really cool that Wix added and for a lot of people probably not sure it's already there. For some of you maybe this is something you're already using but it's the Wix portfolio which is actually free and I really like it. To be honest, it, I, I feel like it's better than the gallery and it gives you a little bit more options to do things like theme sections, projects, or just to showcase something very specific. So I'm gonna show you how to add it. The best part is if you're using Wix Studio or Classic Editor, it's gonna still be the same thing. So on the Classic Editor, we're just gonna go to the App Marketplace and we're just gonna type um, Portfolio and it's gonna be this one right here so as you can see here i already added it it's already installed but it looks pretty much like this i know it doesn't have really good ratings but trust me i've been using it and i'm very excited about it so i don't know maybe some people just couldn't figure it out or something but it works really good uh, in this example that we're going to be doing i'm going to use the Wix Studio to use it, but it's pretty much exactly the same thing. The only thing is just gonna be the design on the page, but for the most part, again, it's gonna be exactly the same thing. So in Wix Studio, we're gonna go here, we're gonna add the portfolio, and we're just gonna do portfolio, and it's this one right here, and then we can just install it. And then once we install this, it's gonna automatically add a page for you, and then you can add those sections uh, on other parts of your website. So we're gonna add everything from the home page, then edit each section, and then add some content. So let's give it a second. And I think it's loading. There you go. <clears throat> so yes, one thing that I would say is that when you're using it, when you're doing SEO and things like that, this is also going to be perfect because you can also add certain sections. Okay, perfect. It was added. So as you can see, it looks very straightforward, similar to uh, this one. So you have the text title, description, and then you have a layout, manage projects. And then you also have certain behaviors, layout, all these tools, right? So in Wix Studio, Again, we also have exactly the same thing. Now here, the only thing it changes is a little bit of like the design of how you're gonna edit things. But the first thing I wanna do is go under manage projects. And then this is almost like creating a collection for things. But instead of you having to set up a collection, this is automatically gonna have the title, description, you can add tags and then images. So you can see here, you have the scribe work, add images, creates portfolio and automatically adds it on the back end. So in this case, I'm not gonna use um, the AI. So I'm gonna do setup without AI. And then once I'm here, uh, you can see I have the ones that are already created by the system. So I can just do add project and then let's say I'm gonna name it, uh, let's say George Sanchez. Let's say I wanna create something for team members. Then I can just name it that, click next, add a small description, uh, and then I can do George is one of our best employees or team members or whatever you wanna say. You can also use um, the AI to generate text and you're gonna click next and then you can add a type. So this is something, for example, uh, employee of the month. So you can give it titles to specific things. I was creating one for a base baseball player website and here I had it as roles and then um, I added a date if I wanted to, but I just left it like that. And then you can also skip and then add it later. So for now, up to you we're just gonna keep it skip for now and then we can upload in a picture so we're gonna do something like this one and then it adds it there and then click done and then one more time so now we can go here 
and if we go edit then you can go here as you can see you have the um, the different tags so if i add role i can add something like um, let's say manager right because we're talking about employees and then you click add and then you can add more images if you want so if we go here to add media uh, then we can just do import from wix then we can do professional and then we can select a few and then add project and that's it so now you have this you can also add a location so you can also customize it as well so if you want to add something very specific like um i'm not sure like what would be a title for example so let's say you want to do something like and then you can do i don't know something like that right again this is just an example and then we can just click save and then once you do that it is, is right here so if we go on this section and then now you'll see it's right there then we can do the layout and on the layout we can actually use similar things like on the gallery so you can adjust the different ways and then we can also customize the layout and then on the items we can also add text if we wanted to so that way it will show the titles uh, you can do something like this on image so you will have it right here or we'll have it on the bottom on the left side or at the bottom so that's something that you can you know adjust as you need or as you want it to be um, done and then on this part if we go to the home page then as you can see it's right there so i can add a section and then if i want to add it so on the left panel this is on wix studio you're gonna go where it says my business you're gonna see automatically showing my portfolio and then you want to click on this item right here add future collections gallery and then this is what's gonna bring the um the portfolio here now i'm gonna show you something really cool that i like a lot about this uh, feature is that uh, so i already added a section there right so once you have added to your uh home page right then um, we're gonna go to collection pages and then right here when you click on this section you will have this uh it's called change present and then you can do different layouts see so you can really do an amazing portfolio super easy and simple and again it gives you a lot of more um freedom to do different styles and designs you can see here if you want to keep it very simple minimalistic um, but pretty much you can do anything you want so now besides that let's say you want to be a little bit more creative you can always go to the layout right here and then you can also change the container design so for example if you want to have a kind of like a blue color here so let's say we want to do something like blue so for the images that are like in the background you can combine it to match your design and then you can also do the the overlay so similar to what the gallery has now you can do an overlay here so if we do that then i can increase it here and then this will be the overlay so once you're on the live then it will customize it like that. So you can play with the different type of effects that you're gonna be able to do on this. But again, uh, it's really cool that you can do all these things and it's very easy. You could literally just install it and within like 30 minutes you have a portfolio and add links and things like that. So hopefully this video helps you. Uh, this was something quick. I'm still gonna be uploading more videos this week with the more uh, requested uh, things. I'm gonna be doing something with creating a custom review, reviews page, how to um, create
create almost like a SaaS type of product, which I'm working and it's going to give you a little bit of more insight about what you can do with the Wix and the new elements that they added. And if you have questions, there's something specific you need help with, just send me a, a comment or a message and I'll be very happy to help you. See you in the next video.